everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 17 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Satisfactory series. Uh, last episode, uh, we, we kind of got everything automated the way we wanted it to, and now, at this point of the game, um, I don't want to say we're waiting for resources to happen, but we're a little bit waiting for resources to get produced. Um, we do actually have a lot of versatile framework, we have a lot of uh, the concrete stuff that we need. We, uh, we're doing, like, really good on our automations. Like, all our stuff is cruising along nicely. Uh, the automated wiring is happening, uh, the motors are happening, like, it's all just coming along and doing its thing. Which is great. Which makes me happy. Which makes everybody happy. Because when I'm happy, everybody's happy. That's what I was told. I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so in today's episode, because we've got so much good automation going and we're kind of at this point waiting for a little bit more of things to happen, what I'd like to do is do a little exploration. Um, I want to I wanna take a little break from like the, the factoryization of it, and I'd like to explore this amazing world that we're living in. Uh, for two reasons. One, there's some really good stuff that we will have access to if we go exploring, and I will be showing you that stuff in today's episode. And two, I would very much like to get one or two of the resources that are far away from my main base. So before I leave, I want to make sure that I've got lots of concrete. Uh, and the reason I want to make sure I have lots of concrete is because we're going to be building platforms as we go things. So one thing I want to make sure to get um, today is, and let's see, how am I for, I think I'm pretty good on everything, right? Like we've got a plenty of food. Um, the main thing I want to make sure I have enough of in my inventory is these, these doohickeys. Where's my bomby dudes? Bomby dude? Bomby dude? Um, one of one ammo. Do I not have extra ammo for this? I might want to make a few more of these. I thought I had extra ammo of this, but maybe I don't have as much as I thought. So we've got... This is biomass, right? No, that's actually sulfur. Okay, good. Yeah, no. And uh, do we have coal coming in anywhere nearby? Mm, I don't actually think we do. Didn't I have more bombs? I felt like I had more bombs. I felt like I had more bombs. What do we need here for uh, more black, for noblesks? Yeah, we need more black powder. All right, so what I should do is get some coal um, from our coal extractors and then make more noblesks so that I have more bombs. Just in case, while we're out exploring, we find something interesting, you know, it would be nice to have that going. Cool? So let's head off in this direction. Let's get our coal grabbed real quick just so we can make some more noblesks. Um, now, I don't need to have these in my inventory. I just wanted to grab it because I was struggling to find where my noblesks were. And I'm also continuing to scan for power slugs while we're out here because power slugs are nice. We want to we wanna find those when we can. Um, so my coal is up in this direction. And then we're going to start exploring this banana's little world that we're on. Oh, hello. See, this is why, this is why you do the thing. Must be underground here. All right, we'll check that out after I grab my coal. And having this kind of building ability is why I'm focused a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. We are using all our coal, aren't we? I'm just going to grab a bunch and I'll be right back. All right, crafting complete. We now have 30 Nobelisk. Sweet. All right, now let's go exploring. Oh, there's a slug. Hello. Hello, sir. So one of the things you guys will discover about this uh, this world that we live in, there are definitely different biomes. Oh, there's a slug down there, too. Sweet. Oh, and here's one of the things I wanted to find. Excellent. Can I make that jump? I think I can make that jump. Yeah, I survived. Hooray! Hey, uh, I think there's uh, some bad guys here. Let's get out our weapons. Hello, bad guys. Gotcha. Gotcha. Check this thing out. Oh, I hate these little bugs. I hate the bugs. Gotcha. I hate them, but then I feel so accomplished when I kill them without getting without getting any damage. Haha. 
Done and done. Beautiful. Hey, so check this out. There's a there's a little thing here. There's a little uh, there's a little crashed drop pod. So I don't think I'm the only person who was launched onto this planet. And I think most of the people who were launched here before. I don't know the exact lore here, but I know I know there's other drop pods, and they usually are destroyed. I don't think I've ever found one that's not destroyed. Uh, they sometimes have some miscellaneous resources laying around. As we can see, this one has some wire hanging around it, and uh, sometimes a couple other resources. Sometimes there's resources laying here that you don't have access to yet. Like, ooh, there's circuit boards. Sweet. I don't think we have access to make these yet, because I'm pretty sure they need oil. Pretty sure that's the case. Now, the drop pod itself, if we open it up, you'll notice that it says there are repairs needed. So every drop pod has a unique set of repairs that need to be applied to it before you can open it and find out what's inside. Uh, in this case, it said we need 12 screws. So you just need to make sure that you've got 12 screws in your inventory, which shouldn't be too bad. And then you can Grab onto the handle, so see how over here it says 12 out of 12? As long as it's in your inventory, you're good. Just grab the handle and pull the lever. And inside is a very useful item. A hard drive with fix-it data on it. Now we can go ahead and drop the hard drive that. Oh, hello. has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Yes, that. So a lot of people in the comments have told me, like, Dyer, you have to go find hard drives for all the recipes. I know, I just wasn't getting there yet. I just wasn't going to do that yet. Um, so if we check out the hard drive section of the MAM, there is an option to start scanning a hard drive. And you just hit the button, start scan. So we have, you know, it can only scan one at a time. We have one in our inventory, so we hit start scan. It'll take that hard drive out of my inventory and start scanning it. It takes 10 minutes to scan a hard drive. As a reminder, all MAMs are shared by the player, so you can just destroy the MAM that you just placed uh, and, and come back to it in 10 minutes and check out what kind of alternate recipes you are. So the hard drives will unlock, oh boy, a nasty looking dude. Hang on. Oh, he's, an, he's a nasty one. I hate these guys. Oh boy, he hurts. He shoots, he, shoot, he shoots plasma orbs that then shoot more plasma orbs. Not a fan. And he has a lot more health than the previous dudes. Gotcha. Hooray, I survived. Uh, so the hard drives unlock alternate recipes, uh, which is cool because uh, you can find some cheaper ways to make resources. Um, so one example is I think there's like a steel screw recipe. So you can use steel to make screws instead of iron rods, and it's like way faster. Um, there's there's a there's actually a good number of alternate recipes, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be discovering them as we go. Uh, now over here it looks like a cool little path to follow. However, we're gonna need our buddy. Thank. You. Yeah. Huzzah! Cool. So this is nifty. There's a neat little uh, crazy biome over here that we can find. Now what I wouldn't mind doing is scanning for quartz. So where's some quartz? Because I definitely wanted to find that today. So my plan is to go look for quartz and then... Uh you know, on the way to finding quartz, hopefully find more hard drives too. So there's some like way over there, which is probably my closest bet. So I think that actually is back in the direction of my base-ish. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's definitely some, I don't wanna go that far if I can avoid it. Now quartz, I think I typically don't carry back to my base. I think I usually set up a quartz mine, kind of like I did with sulfur, and just kind of like go grab it when I need it, because you don't generally need it that much. But let's explore this, uh... oh boy, more fire spitting dudes. I'm not gonna kill him. What do I wanna kill him for? I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get so lost. Why am I doing this again? Why am I doing it the stupid way? Where I'm gonna be lost the whole time? I don't know, I don't have a good answer to that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from my base because I wanna know where the quartz is relative to a place that I know. 
Um, so let me head back to my base real quick and we'll come back in a moment once I get back there. And then we'll start finding the quartz relative to my base. Um, and remember to stay out of the gas. Gas will choke you and that's bad. So yeah, back in a few minutes. All right, we're back. So uh, hey, here's my uh, space elevator doohickey. And I happen to find another one of these right here. Hooray! Um, so here uh, you'll notice that there's some reinforced iron plates and some screws laying around. Just, you know, littered with junk. Sometimes you can find some good stuff, like motors. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to grab too much stuff here because inventory issues and whatnot are already plaguing me. But I'm going to, you know, be careful. Uh, I also picked up a few uh, slugs that I found along the way. Now, this repair that's needed, and this is common. This is a very common type of repair. The battery is broken, and it needs 40 megawatts of energy or some other number. You'll find different varying amounts. Now, my recommendation when you find these, just throw down a couple biomass generators because you don't need to charge this for very long. So remember, biomass burners can do 30 megawatts of power. So you're going to want two of these bad boys uh, connected to a power line. And then you connect the power line into the thing. Throw just a little bit of fuel in there. Flip on the circuit. Ba -boom. That's not true. One of your what? what are you talking about? You both have fuel. You're fine. Stop being a baby. Stop being a baby. You have fuel. There you go. You just need to stop being a baby. And then you can come over here, pull the lever. The door is open, you get the hard drive, and then you can deconstruct the biomass burners. Hooray! That's all there is to it. So, have some biomass on you, just so, number one, you can use uh, your chainsaw. Not that you need it too much anymore, because we're fully dependent on coal power. Um, but having biomass on you is important, so that when you do encounter uh, these drop pods that require something along the lines of power, you can throw down one, two, or three biomass burners, and you're good to go. Now, speaking of the hard drive, let's open up the MAM and see how it's going. Hooray! Look at this! We did the thing! All right, so there are three recipes that you get access to, and you as the player get to decide which of these seem cool to you. Now, there's tons of hard drives in the world, so eventually you'll probably get most of the recipes. Um, some of them are tiered, so there's certain recipes that, like, you'll unlock one thing, and then you'll have the access to unlock the next thing, and then you'll have the access to unlock the next thing. So, um, you know... But early on, you'll find some, some good stuff. So the first alternate recipe we found is uh, this guy, the, the steel ingot. Now, let me walk you through what the UI looks like here. So this is an alternate blueprint for steel ingots. So normally, um, you take three iron ore and three coal ore to make three steel ingots, right? And you get 45 steel ingots per minute. Cool. Now this alternate recipe takes two steel ingots, so you have to smelt the, the or two iron ingots, so you have to smelt the iron first, but you combine them with two coal and you get three steel ingots. And that gives you a production rate of 60 per minute. So there's two very important stats here. Number one, do we get more resources per resource, right? And in this case, yes. Instead of it costing three coal and three iron to make three steel, it's two and two to make three. So number one, it's cheaper, right? Now, in this example, right, things are, um, the, the, the numbers don't matter so much because it's, it's steel and, and, you know, coal. Um, and then also the production rate, which is normally 45 per minute, now you can get 60 per minute. So it's less resources and faster. Now, the downside of this alternate recipe is obviously that you have to smelt your iron ore into iron ingots before you can turn it into steel. So right now we're just pumping raw ore into there and we can get steel. So that's kind of a cool recipe. Some of these are way better than others, by the way. So there's some that are like really amazing and some alternates that are kind of meh and some that are like, mm, that's not worth it at all. So you have to really pay attention to what the alternate recipes are giving you. Cool. Now the alternate recipe, the other recipes we got here are steel. So the normal recipe for steel is one rod equals four screws. Okay. Um, the new recipe is five ingots can turn into 20 screws. The normal recipe is 40 per minute. The new recipe is 50 per minute. So it's a little bit faster, like 20% faster production rate, right? And in terms of resources, it's one iron to one rod, right? So it's actually the same amount of resources. So this recipe is cool 
okay? Because it lets you skip the intervening step of making iron rods, and it's a little bit faster. So that's a really nice recipe, okay? And then the other one over here is making wood into charcoal, okay? Um, so, uh, or, or into coal, basically. So you can take one wood and turn it into 10 coal. I don't know why you would want to do this, because you can't automate wood in this game. So, like, why would you ever want this recipe? I'm sure that, like, maybe? I, I don't see a use, personally. You get literally unlimited coal, and you're making, like, hundreds of them per minute. Why would you manually go cut down wood and then craft it into coal? I, so that's what I mean when I say that there are definitely some recipes. So our options here, for me, I'm thinking these two are the best ones. And I just have to sit here for a minute and think about which one I want to unlock. Because eventually we'll probably get both of them. And I think there's other screw recipes. There's like a steel-based screw recipe too. But this one in the middle here is really cool. It makes screws a lot easier and a little bit faster. 20% faster screw production and skip the intermediate step. Or, that's kind of cool. I really like that. Um, and I mean, like, this is also nice because it speeds up and makes so you'll basically get more steel from our current number of resources so that's really nice too so both are good now what you can also do fyi is close out of the screen it's totally okay and when you open it back up the same thing will be up in old versions of satisfactory you could save your game quit reload the world and you'd get a different set of three options that is no longer the case so in before everybody in the comments tells me that you can do that because you can't do that anymore I really like the idea of the alternate steel recipe because it'll because we're like not bad on steel, but we could always do a little bit better, especially because we have like steel crafters that are not being worked on right now. And I think there's a better steel screw recipe. So I'm going to go with this one for now. So you just hit confirm and boom, alternate recipe unlocked. Hooray. That's cool, right? Super cool. New parts available. Nice. Uh, you can also open up your X here. And I think there's some there's a recipes tab. Let's see. Inbox. Exploration hard drive. Oh, that's, yeah, these are just the messages that what's her name sends you. Uh, parts. So if we come over here to steel ingot, we will now see the standard recipe and alternate recipe one, both available in your recipes list. How cool is that? Now, before we move on, we should probably go ahead and throw our next hard drive in there. But before I do that, I did get a yellow slug and I wouldn't mind researching this bad boy just so that in the future so it uses up the yellow slug that i just got but we've now got the ability to uh convert yellow slugs into uh power shards which is cool uh and then purple slug is the last one remember so now that we've got that i'm gonna go ahead and start scanning the next hard drive break down the mam and we can go back to exploring so where i was headed was raw quartz right uh and i want to say it's somewhere off in this direction up here if i'm not mistaken waiting for the ping Waiting for the ping. Let's go, Raw Quartz. Where are you at? There you are. So you're all the way up there, huh? So let's make sure that we have kind of a good understanding of where we're headed. So we're going to head off in this direction. And we're going to keep our eyes open for two things. One, more hard drives, because those are the best. You really, really want to find as many hard drives as possible. And I think you eventually get the ability to scan for hard drives, or crash ships at least. Um, I think that's a thing in the MAM eventually. Um, so, so consider that as an option, right? Um, hello, bad guy. Oh, you're a big one. One of the big guys with horns. This is like the second, this is like the evolved form of one of those bad guys. They take a lot of hits, but I think they dropped three alien carapaces, which are cool. They hurt a lot too. Ooh, what's this thing? Oh, I think I found one of the things. It's a Mercer Sphere. These guys are cool. Hello, Mercer Sphere. How are you? You look different than I remember. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Hear how creepy Ada gets? Ada gets really creepy around this thing. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Wait, what? I'm in. So this is a work in progress item. Okay. Um. It's harvest. Yeah, there's a few. I'm purposely stalling because there's a few voice dialogues that Ada uses here when you get near one of these things. So it's a work in progress item. I think it's like an alien artifact, but like Sam or there's no current use for it at all. So um, you can grab them if you want. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Like in my brain, I'm wondering like. 
what is the messaging here? Is Has Ada been hacked by this alien artifact to convince me to pick it up? Is Ada really telling me to pick it up? Like, because Ada's like an AI, right? So, like, did this alien artifact hack my player's AI? You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. And, like... Like in my in my in my brain, right? Because there's no there's no explanation in game for what this is about yet, right? But I'm like, is is this an alien artifact that has hacked my Ada AI to trick me into picking it up? I don't know. Maybe. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Right. That's a creepy message. Because there is there are absolutely no other fixed personnel in the area. So mm, I'm gonna grab it. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. A little creepy, right? It's a little creepy. Got it. Got the Mercer Sphere. So, these are found around the world. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. A weird alien thing with an impossibly smooth surface. Didn't look that smooth to me, but okay. So anyway, um... Back to scanning and finding quartz, because that's a thing we want to do today. Cool. Hello, friend. So it's off in this direction. What I think I want to do, and what I am going to do, because I know I'm going to need to... When we get to the quartz, we're going to want to set up um, power and, and all that stuff out there. So I'm going to start running um, power lines out in that direction. And I'll tell you why. Because we're going to want to mine that quartz. So having power lines out there um, so that we have power to mine quartz with would be good. So let's actually do that. I'm going to grab my power poles. I'm going to make sure I have enough resources to do that. So I'll be right back. The other thing that's really useful about running power lines like this is that it kind of gives you a path to follow. Um, so it's it's like mark, it's like breadcrumbs, right? Leading to you know, where different places are. Like, when I want to find my coal power plant, I, I follow the power lines. And I'm like, oh, right, that's where it is. I remember now. So we're just going to build this guy all the way along here and head towards that direction. And in the interest of entertaining YouTube content, I will be doing more cuts at this point. So I will be back in a moment when and if we find anything interesting uh, or I get closer to that location that I'm looking to get to. I don't know if those are bones or what they are, but they're interesting looking, that's for sure. I've just kind of come across that little land bridge that I traversed, and now we're here, and I kind of reached the end of this location. So part of me, ooh, I see a hard drive up there, so that's cool. Now let's rescan just for a minute to see how close we are to, to where we're headed. I want to say up there. Yeah, 692, right up there, probably right past that gassy area. So how do we want to run this? I could build a bunch of platforms uh, that just go out that way and then across and then up. That could be cool. Uh, that might not be a terrible plan. Let's do like 15. Let's see if that works. Because um, we're definitely headed off in that direction. We don't want to fall here, that's for sure. But this could be cool. I like this plan. And smart makes this easier. As a reminder, you could absolutely do this without smart. Like, smart is not making this possible when it wouldn't otherwise be. It would just be a lot more work <laughs> without smart. Now, what if we hold that in position and we wanted to go 40 blocks up that way? See why I installed Smart? Have you figured it out yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, 100% possible without Smart, right? Absolutely nothing that is cheating here. Um, you know, but Smart makes it less tedious like we would have had to build these one by one which you know not the end of the world but that 
actually feels pretty good. We might want to go like one. Oh boy, that was close. Or two blocks forward. Feels good. Okay. Now this is a gaseous area, so you're gonna to want to watch out. Oh yeah, that, definitely, uh, definitely a little bit of gas here. And this guy, later, chief. So I'm debating how I want to handle this situation that I find myself in. And also, I see another thing I'd like to show you guys right here. Ah, more gas. Now, gas just kind of hurts you a little bit, so it's not the end of the world if you walk into the gassy area. Ooh, man, research complete. Nice. So I think that Summer Sloop thing is another alien artifact, and Ada just kind of does the same kind of messages. I don't think that they're different in any way. So it's another alien artifact that has no use, still work in progress, yada yada, right? It doesn't actually do anything. But FYI, it's a thing. Now, how can I get over there safely? There's some ideas I have, we'll have to see. But it looks like we're about 230 blocks-ish away, and that's cool. I might just make a run for it. And there's a thing we can do that can make it so that we will survive this. But let's see. I'm just going to make a run for it. That wasn't so bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Oh, look what I found. Quartz. Quartz, 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 quartz. Hooray! We found quartz. That's exciting. Thank you, berries. You sustained me. So there's lots there's lots of cool stuff in this general area, by the way. By the way, there's some cool stuff around here. Um that we should be sure to know exists. Look how neat this planet is. I really like this game's like graphics, like the the visuals and the textures and all. Like, everything looks cool. Everything looks super cool. And there's different starts, remember? So like you can start in like a deserty area. There's a couple different places to start. All right, this feels good. So we've got our quartz veins here. Now eventually there is something we can do about the gas, by the way. You can eventually get a gas mask, 100%. I'm just checking out the area here. Ooh, a slug, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Uh oh, fire, fire, something, something. There he is. Another one, I think. Yep, there he is, I see him. Hiding in the grass. Sneaky little monsters. Now, I think there's a hard drive right over here, isn't there? It's kinda deep inside the gas. So I think I'm gonna hold off until I get a gas mask to deal with that. Yeah, I think that's a good time. Hey, it's a lizard doggo. Hey, little buddy. Pat, pat, pat. You can pet the lizard doggos. Hey, look, I've got food for you. Don't run away, little buddy. Don't you like berries? Hello, little lizard doggo. <laughs> yeah. Love these little guys. These guys are cool. Um, you can tame them, and I think they'll randomly bring you resources. I hesitate to tame one that's so far away from my base, though, because he'll get lost, and I would feel bad. So I will let him stay um, as, a, as a 
as a free lizard doggo. So what I want to do now is quickly build a little drawbridge up to here. We're going to tap into our power lines. How's that feel? We can get our miners. So what I'm going to want real quick is an equipment workshop. We're going to want four of these in total, so three more. We're going to get Minor Mark IIs. We're going to run our power line down, upgrade it to a Mark II power pole, and get these guys up and running. Beautiful. Raw quartz. Here it comes. All right. So uh, let's check out our MAM because our research should be complete here. So what do we get? We got an alternate recipe for steel rods. One steel becomes four uh, iron rods rather than... Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's kind of neat, right? And instead of 15 per minute, it's 48 per minute. That's a lot. That's a huge improvement. It's like a little bit better than three times faster, and it's four times the resources per... That's awesome. Okay. Then there's an alternate recipe stitched iron plate. So rather than iron plates needing screws like they normally do, it needs copper wires. Meh. I say, eh, not terrible. And then there's the bolted iron plate, um, which also is not great, not terrible. So it's three times the iron, about three times the screws, produces three times the bolted iron, or the, the stuff, right? So in terms of the number of resources, it's about the same. But look at the production rate, 15 per minute rather than 5 per minute. So it basically, same number of resources, but runs three times as fast, right? If you, uh, if you look at that. So uh, my gut tells me we've already got these in great supply. So I'm not going to worry too much about these as the alternate, but I really like this, this steel rod recipe. So I'm going to snag that one. Cool. Oh, and while we have the MAM open, actually, I should have uh, left that open because we want to scan quartz. Uh, so we want quartz crystals. Uh, so we want to snag some of this quartz out of here and probably this quartz out of here, too. Quartz, by the way, great resource for uh, item syncing. But yeah, can we, is this what we need? Start research? Yes. Do, 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 do. So we'll learn how to make quartz crystals and we will also learn how to make silica which are just two resources that are used for making things, right? Um, and then using 100 quartz crystals, we'll be able to unlock crystal oscillators, which we're going to do next episode. Haha! -ha. Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. I'm going to make myself a bunch of quartz crystals so that we can get some MAM research around quartz unlocked. And then next episode, when we come back, what I'm going to do is... Um, show you guys you know what quartz gets us because there's a really cool thing that i'm very excited to unlock with the quartz um but we'll get to that in a minute all right double 20 signing off hope you guys enjoyed the episode take it easy